Brad here from Preventive Practice, and today I'm going to share with you one thing that you can do to dramatically increase your conversions into plans of care, and you can implement this today. You see, the biggest problem that people face when they are selling a plan of care to a patient is they don't confirm that the patient understands that your process, or what we refer, refer to in our preventive practice program as a signature solution, is what can get this prospective patient to the results that they're looking for. Too many people make this big mistake, either they don't prescribe any plan of care at all, which we see time and time again, or if they do prescribe a plan of care, they just pretty much say, we need to see you this many sessions, and it's gonna be this long, and this is how much money it is. The reality is, is we need to bridge the gap for where the person is right now to where they want to go and make sure that they understand that your process that you laid out for them is the solution to their obstacle and why they've not received the actual results that they're looking for. Whether they've tried other services, they've done something new, you know, foam rolling, whatever it is. We have to make sure that the person that we're talking to is in agreement that your program or plan of care is what can get them to the result. So the easiest way to do that before you present any pricing or anything is just ask them, out of curiosity, do you feel like this program or this treatment plan can get you to where you're wanting to go in terms of out of back pain, being able to play volleyball again and pick up your kids? If it's anything other than yes, then there's no point in moving forward because there's uncertainty with your program or how they can actually get there. You'll be able to pick up these things pretty quickly because if the person says, well, yeah, it sounds pretty good. At that stage, I'm gonna stop and say, well, you don't sound too sure on that. I mean, is there something that you feel is missing that can help you get where you're wanting to go or did I not explain something? So I need to ask for some clarification before I can move forward. The person's like, yes, this sounds amazing. I also look and say, okay, well, it kind of sounds skeptical to some capacity if the person is overly, overly joyous about it. So I'll generally ask them, well, why though? And that's a really critical factor. So not only am I saying, well, do you feel like this program can get you where you're wanting to go? Yes, it sounds great, but hold on a second. Like why though? And the reason why that's so important is because it helps to get them out of the frame of finances and whatnot and getting them into your process getting into getting them to the outcome you're also preemptively going through any other other objections in my other videos when we go through objections and common things where people ask about insurance or costs or need to think about it the reality is is that there's only two objections the uncertainty or fear by going through this process we neutralize any potential objections and we can move forward once we have uh, moved past the initial objection and have them agreeing to the program so if the person is saying anything else other than, yes, 100%, this is what I want to do, um, then you need to make sure you're framing and re-clarifying if, like, what exactly they don't they understand, what information do they not have in order to make a decision. So do this next time you are presenting a plan of care. Ask them if they feel like this process can get them to their where they're wanting to go and whatever goal that is specifically. And then ask them, well, why do you feel that way? And get them to explain to you what they like about it. If you found this video helpful and you want to access more resources on how to get cash pay patients, optimize your marketing, and grow your practice, make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can get more of those resources delivered on a regular basis. And if you are looking to expedite and grow your practice to seven figures and beyond, and you want to help to be able to fast track getting there, you can click around this video in order to schedule a practice growth audit. And what we'll do on that call is we'll take a look at your practice, compare it amongst the 400 other practices that we work with, and do an analysis to see what is working, what needs to be optimized, and what's missing that's gonna give you the quickest win. If you're interested in that, make sure that you reach out and we'll love to schedule it in and get you on the right track. Thanks again, until next time.